tutorial, we will focus primarily on the basics for Resolve. We have other tutorials about specific issues in De Flickr that you may also refer to, as that information is universal. De Flickr has three tools, high speed, time lapse, and auto levels. And Resolve, as of version 15, has three places where the effects can be applied, the edit page, the color page, and fusion page. We will see an example of each page and each tool. DeFlickr plugins are considered temporal effects as the plugin accesses multiple frames to make a frame. Prior to version 15, only DeFlickr high speed would load and resolve, so make sure you have the official release version of Resolve 15.0 or higher and do not have a beta so you have access to all three plugins. First, we can import a clip and drag it to our timeline. We're starting in the Resolve edit page and with this clip of the guy walking through the lobby. This movie was shot at 240 frames per second and you can see the light flickers as they do over 120 hertz, 100 hertz in European countries. And we also see some banding fluctuating in and out. So that is another issue we're going to fix. We can add deflicker high speed by going to the effects library which is at the top of the page, and we scroll down to the Revision Effects plugins and find Deep Flicker High Speed. You can drag the effect onto the clip. Now you'll select the clip and go to the Inspector on the top right and open the Inspector and select the Open Effects tab. Here's a gotcha in the Edit page. If you use Compound Clip, when you put two clips one after another and you select both and make compound clip and then apply to flicker, nothing happens. A temporal effect cannot be applied to a compound clip. So you will need to apply deflicker on the individual clips if you need to use compound clips in edit for applying deflicker. Okay, back to business now. We start with the default settings as they are pretty good, but we can still do something about the sizzling and the red lights. Where it says method, we can try the alternate period 2 method to handle the on-off banding cycle. Now the lights look good, but the floor wiggles a little on the bottom right on some of the frames. This is due to the reflections on the glass combined with the floor changing levels. We can add another instance of high speed. Oh wait, we cannot have two effects cascaded in edit page. So we'll need to apply the second effect in the color page. But first we can use caching. Since applying a second instance will be more intense and incur extra processing time. To do this we can right mouse click and select render cache OFX filter deflicker high speed. Now we can go to the color page and add the second instance of high speed. We can select Open Effects in the upper right and scroll down to Revision Effects and Deflicker High Speed. We can drag the effect over to the nodes and insert the node after the input node. This time we can apply the Noise Clean method. This will remove the rest of the artifacts. Okay, let's see another example in Color Page. And this time we'll use Deflicker Time Lapse. So the time lapse theory is that if you deal with large scale fluctuation like the sun appearing and disappearing or night to day with the global controls and you use the frames around to attenuate the frame to frame difference. So we apply the plugin which shows up in the open effects tab and drop it as a node in the color page. We twirl up in the global correction controls. This plugin is pretty intense, so in order to go faster, let's turn it off for a second or set motion analysis to off to quickly locate good frames for global color correction. Note, you don't want to put a keyframe at the darkest frame, but a dark frame. You can also set another keyframe on a light reference frame. You can navigate from one keyframe to another, but there's no way to play with or see the keyframe curves. This is an issue in color, so if you want to animate the keyframes, you might want to choose Fusion. So we start again, and now we go to the Fusion page. We can use the Cityscape as our media in footage. To add the effect in Fusion, we go to the Effects Library, or simply use the right-click menu and Add Tool, as in good old Fusion. 
and we can scroll down to deflicker auto levels and drag that down next to the media in node. You will see there is a spline and keyframes. Keyframes is like a dope sheet showing you where the keyframes are. We can start by selecting start analysis. We should go to splines view in order to see where the illumination changes are. You can now click keyframes tab again so it goes away and then it leaves you with the spline view. You can extend the size on screen with the handle of the spline viewer. You need to select a particular value to display it in the spline view. Now finally, why do it in fusion page instead of the color page? Well, a big difference is because in the color page, the size will have been normalized to the project setting size, while in the fusion page, nothing is resized. So if your source time lapse is 8K and your project timeline is 4K, then in fusion, it would process at 8K and in the color page at 4K, so it would be a lot faster.